Hey, welcome back for another video. In this one, I've got the Voodoo Blue Tundra in the garage. This is mine. You haven't really seen much of it on the channel just because primarily I'm driving the Tacoma back and forth to work and the wife will drive this. Um, usually as, you know, with the uh, kids back and forth to school, um, sporting events, anywhere we're going with the family, we're taking this. It is the full size, um, but uh, I haven't had much of the of, um, content regarding it on the channel. Uh, so in this video what I want to do is actually remove and show you what it's like to remove um, the Lux Auto Concepts tint uh, off of a tail light. Just kind of show you what that looks like when it's being removed and uh, you know, some of the questions might be well when you have this on what kind of residue or how hard is it to remove afterwards and um, you know does it doesn't leave a lot of adhesive does it you know what kind of mess might it leave um, after it's been installed so what we'll do to remove it is actually use a heat gun and we'll pre kind of warm this up a little bit what that's going to do is keep it kind of pliable and easier to work with um, when it's dried like this and, and cool um, it just tends to react a little more brittle and it will tear off into smaller pieces more easily um, and really this should remove pretty uh, straightforward um, might tear in a couple of spots but all in all we should be able to get a good chunk of this kind of come off all at once um, and we'll just kind of work this all the way off and uh, so let's get the heat gun let's get that started As you can see, we've got the whole tail light off in just one piece. So um, we did tear in a few spots, but as long as you just kind of keep working, hitting those edges first, it's going to peel off relatively easily. Um, I do feel a little bit of adhesive left, and so um, you know it's not a per it wasn't a perfect removal. And uh, sometimes you can get them to remove some spots are nice and clean. Some spots have some um, adhesive left. So the nice this stuff actually does clean up pretty nicely um, without having to get real aggressive with any kind of uh, scrubbing. So. What I'm going to do is just take um, a regular like microfiber towel and a solution of just like some rubbing alcohol and water and we'll Okay, so basically just spraying it with some soapy water, running your hand over that, you're gonna be able to feel if there's any of that adhesive left um, stuck in any of those places. So this feels pretty good. I'm not feeling anything left over. Um, so next step is just to um, do a final clean wipe down with just some rubbing alcohol straight, um, get around those edges, and that's pretty much it. This would be taken care of. So. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on here and actually re-wrap these and re-tint re those. Um, going, uh, instead of the light tint that I had on here, I'm gonna actually go to um, the mid-smoke 
tint from Lux Auto Concepts. Um, add a little bit more aggression to it, but it's still not gonna be overpowering. You're still gonna see the reflective lens. You're still gonna see some of the red from the housing. Um, so it's not gonna be a blackout, but um, you know, just a tinge more of a, a tint, a um, little more of a sporty look. If you wanna see how that takes place, um, and actually how to tint the taillights on the Tundra, you know, take a look at the next video um, that I'll be putting out for that. So um, that's it for this video. I just wanted to touch base on the removal of taillight tint if it's been on. Like I said, this, this was on for about a year in the elements up here in North Dakota. Um, and so that kind of gives you an example. So if you have any questions, comment below. Otherwise, appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next video.